In today's video, I'm gonna be showing y'all how to replace this ugly, plastic BMW oil filter cap for this nice new all metal M Sport styled cap. And this thing looks freaking sweet. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get right on with the video. And now you might be asking, why does it even matter if this is plastic or metal? Well, I'm gonna show you really quick. I mean, the metal one's just more durable in every way. It's not gonna prematurely wear out or crack on you like plastic can. I've seen the edges of these get stripped out and crack over time. The biggest qualm about this is that if you're ever in a pinch and you have to remove this, you have to go out and buy this special tool. And it's not too hard to find, but it's about 12, 15 bucks. And I found this at Advanced Auto. Nobody else had it in stock. It's 86 millimeter with 16 little flutes, which is the edges. But yeah, it's kind of hard to find in a pinch, especially if you're in a bad situation. No local hardware shop or et cetera is just gonna have one of these laying around for you to remove your filter. So that's the biggest thing for me. This new one in all of its glory, you can just fit on. I think it's a 21 millimeter. I'll have it written right down below. But you can get an adjustable wrench, clip it onto here, and literally tighten or remove this thing. And that is super convenient to be able to remove that whenever. This metal, you know, red look, just looks so aesthetically pleasing. And I love seeing the little M Sport symbol or the M symbol on there. So overall, this thing is just a no brainer. So yeah, guys, we're basically gonna go ahead and install this and I'll show you exactly how. So first thing want to do is get our contraption here it's just like something out of freaking dr strange or frankenstein but go ahead and slip it on remove this old filter and i'm just swapping out the filter because i did an oil change recently but you don't have to so just know that cool so here we have our plastic oil filter cap and i bought a new one just like so show you guys for the video i'm basing it a plastic pry tool you can use a flathead screwdriver if that's better we can see this actually wiggles because it's held into those plastic clips all the way there in the back right here so we're simply going to pop those out and i had to switch to a flathead for more leverage but you're literally going to get the flathead into the clip pop it like that just kind of go in a circle pulling all the clips out one at a time and you shouldn't have any like crazy issues. Yeah, bam, just like that, this thing is removed. So you can see guys, the little clips here, you're gonna get a flat head and push them inwards. And what that's basically gonna do is allow this thing to free up because this is where it's held in. Everything transferred over, we already have our O-ring. Let's go ahead and pop this into the new metal one. And this is super simple guys, you're literally gonna grab this thing in any position and just like this once it's lined up push it into place it's going to require some force but literally just like that you can see it snapped right into place you're literally just going to line it up and you can notate the fitment on mine but it should be the same it's fully symmetrical that is sturdy it's on there we have the new o-ring let's go ahead and pop the filter on bam 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 cool good to go and now we can go ahead and slip this right there where the old one was and we'll put some oil in the middle o-ring as well it's this outer one and that's going to help everything slip into place a lot easier go ahead and put that on and now i don't want to scratch up this metal so i'm going to use a plastic bag over the cap itself and then you don't want to torque this thing too crazy give it a little half or a little uh tiny any snug turn and bam cool and it matches the red intake mishimoto hose i have right there and just from an outside perspective now that looks performance-esque and look how it shines and you can see here where i was tightening it still did scratch even with the plastic maybe you could use like tape or something tape that off and tighten that's what i would do in the future but let's say you just popped your hood and this is the first impression i mean that looks 10 out of 10 guys i absolutely love the way that looks I highly recommend it. It is a great way to spice up your engine bay. And overall, it's just a lot more durable. You don't have to worry about plastic cracking over time or locating one of those weird wrenches to remove this. I mean, really just picture the two of them. You went from this to that right there. So yeah, I definitely love the way it looks. And go ahead and get yourself one of these. I'll have a link down below where you can get it. And uh, yeah. 10 out of 10, highly recommend. And just in case, really quick, we're gonna turn the car on because we wanna check this thing for leaks. So let's go ahead and do that. And <laughs> yeah, guys, as you can see, it is not leaking. I know it's kind of hard to hear from my exhaust, but yeah, it is not leaking on the seams. I would let this idle for about five minutes just to make 100% sure. But yeah, as we can see, it is not leaking anywhere. Hands are clean. So this full install is good to go.